And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some War Mothers Kahiri. That's right, we're gonna try another Kahiri deck this time with War Mothers Call and Frell Yord. So we're gonna have a, a, a mid rangey kind of deck similar to the Elnuk deck that we just played, at least with the early stuff. We're gonna have Chronomancer being able to predict and we'll have Ancient Preparations be able to predict because you need to be able to predict with Kahiri because Kahiri says when I'm summoned, and so that's not played from hand, that's just summoned and put into play. So that'd be from like War Mother's Call would summon this and put it into play. You get to create a copy of it in your deck. And if you also see Kahiri in a prediction, then you grant all copies of Kahiri everywhere plus two plus two. So we want to see Kahiri's in predictions, and then they get the plus two plus two. And uh, you know, they can just keep on coming with uh, War Mother's Call. Our champions are going to be Trundle Trindamir. Those will be our two. Uh, champions. We're going to have a Cold Resistance in here to kind of ramp up to War Mother's Call. But I feel like this card could be pretty cool. I wanted to try this one out instead of Catalyst of Aeons because of that plus zero, plus two, especially with Trundle being able to give the Trundle the extra two health. I felt like that could be like really cool. So I wanted to give that a try. Uh, then we're going to have, let's see, a Renegation for Protection. Battling Beer is going to be in here where if we do draw or uh, buff up Kahiri, then Babbling Beard will be able to draw Kahiri, so we can find it that way. That's kind of cool. Or otherwise, we'll draw Trindamir. Plus, we'll have our Xenotype Researchers in here, um, especially with us getting more uh, units out with War Mother's Call. Xenotype Researchers should be pretty good. So yeah, that's our deck. I just think Exhaust is a really good quality interaction spell, like a good removal spell for this kind of deck. Um, so it just costs one mana. So I want to play... We're going to play three Exhaust. We're going to play a couple Three Sisters, some Quicksands, an Avalanche... A little bit of everything. All right, so War Mother's Kahiri. Let's give this one a try. We're, of course, going to be heading on over to normal with it being meme tier day. All right, Thresh Nessus. Okay, prediction started. All right, I'm going to mulligan three sisters. I don't know, three sisters is fine. We got a 3, 4, 5, and then we can use some spell mana on that. You know what? I'll just keep it. It's a, it's a perfectly fine card. It can help out in, like, the Battle of Champions with, like, Thresh challenging stuff or a bigger Nasus. We'll just keep it. Love drawing the Xenotype Researchers. I'd much rather play Researchers on 3 than Tavern Keeper on 3 if we haven't taken damage. We have noticed that, like, this new... like. There's these new two mana three ones, Rock Hopper and this Fading Icon, and they've been uh, really problematic with like all of my three threes because I can't punish the one health. So it's like they're playing two mana cards that trade with my three and four mana cards, and that has been problematic. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. Pride fails forever. Oh, yes. she does love music. Yeah, these things are 3-1, 4-1. Can't punish those. Wow. How do they not attack? What are they doing? Not attacking. I don't even know, but I'm happy. I guess they just care about Thresh leveling up. So it costs six mana to, get, to grab Entomb. But Entomb seems like the good card to have, so like a lot of these things die, but then the Thresh doesn't see them uh, die, so it doesn't help level up. Seven. I 
I, I have one copy of Avalanche in the deck. No ice shards. Mm, that really hurts. Oh, that really hurts. They're they're destroying the mana gem, so I can't like kill their thing in response. So I could quicksand the four three. This means they don't slay. Yeah, you know, they don't slay either of these, so this thing stays a two two. Stay smaller. And also it leaves me the one man to play this ancient preparations. See, I wouldn't I wouldn't really care about Avalanche here if it wasn't for Thresh, right? Like Thresh is the card that's just awesome and the card that's really the huge problem here. It's not really about um So I took the Trundle so that I can potentially have Icequake. Icequake could be a way for me to kill Thresh. Okay, cool. Azur Sparrow says I'm trying this deck out at the same time. And already won the first game by attacking with two giant Kahiri. Awesome. Uh, so much for tr being able to kill Thresh, though. Thresh is really underrated. So that's an awesome champion. And yeah, like it's going to level up now. Or no, this is only five. Okay, this is only five. Good, doesn't level up. Okay, we still have a chance. We still have six cards in hand, though. That was a really big time ride of negation to protect that thrash. That was big time. Well, I guess thrash levels up now. This is our second Thresh deck of the day. The last one, Thresh dominated the game because they got to have two leveled up Thresh attacks put in Gangplanks. This is exactly what happened last time, too. Uh, yeah. Leveled up Thresh is good. I don't see any, any way for us to win this game. I won't let you play your tricks. There's still four. Uh, there's just no way to win this. I can't. I can't trade with these because they just it just grows these Nasuses even more. I can't really afford that. So we're sitting on atrocity. 
Like that's that's all they're thinking about right now is atrocity. So that was a very good play by them being patient, but then, you know, now ha having a third one, now they're going to be able to get the spell shield, and so now I can't stop it whatsoever. And these are going to be very large with the spell shield. Um... Yeah, they didn't. They didn't need to pull the pillar. You know, they could have gone for the lethal like that, but they were—they're were just setting up their atrocity. See what we see. Well, I'm gonna cast War Mother's Call because it's cool. Thresh is amazing. Thresh dominated that game. That was the right in the the right in negation to um, counter my entomb. Won that game. I've never used that. All right, let's see how we do against some Legion Marauders with Katarina LeBlanc. Okay, we'll put up the prediction. Predictions available. All right, definitely send that back. And I guess right in negation as well. We'll take the we'll take the ramp spell. Hmm, no Kahiri. I keep this three sisters for later. So I don't really want to play like the two mana two one. I want to play researchers, then I want to go cold resistance after the researchers. Scary Harry, thank you so much for that resub. Three awesome months now. Thank you very much. Our first of the day. I guess I should have just pass when they were wasting their mana. My move. All right, so we ramped. Now maybe we'll find a warm of those call. All right, found a Kahiri. It's a six mana six six fearsome, which sounds pretty good. No no no! Oh, <laughs> I meant to right click on that just to kind of see what was up with that card, but then I ended up drawing it. All right, well we're gonna take the two mana five four. I mean, the Sentry is probably a better card anyway though, because it's you know it's just a tiny bit smaller, but it also only costs five or costs two mana instead of six, four less mana. And then it also draws a card. Wow. That's a good one. Maybe I should have exhausted that, but I'm more I'm really scared of Legion Marauders and then you know LeBlanc Caterina. I want to save the exhaust for those kind of cards. That's a great one drop. Oh. 
History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. Smoke and mirrors. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Could have made the researchers a 3-4, but I like healing my Nexus a little bit. <laughs> Monkey Idol? That one's actually pretty good too. That one's actually pretty good. For a three drop. Like those powder monkeys, those are gonna be really annoying. We'll try to kill LeBlanc. LeBlanc's about to level up. Well, I'm very happy with that. I will trade Whirling Death for just killing my 3-1. All that was going to be was just a 3-1. So very happy with that. Alright, we got our Kahiris. Thing that could happen. These are the hands that will shape the future. <laughs> All right, so they still got six cards. I only got two. This would be a good time for War Mother's Call. I agree. Yeah, good time for Warmo's call, but still, we got the four things in play. That's the third Tribeam and Probulator. <laughs> they only get great cards. So the good news is no more Tribeam and Probulators. That's the good news. Victory requires a sharp blade. Cannot play another one of those. Fight me. I ha -ha. I'll cut them apart. Face me. I'll show the hunters. <laughs> I was so careful not to create a paradox, but never considered conjoined timelines. Dang. That's some card draw right there. So my plan is quicksand this and attack her 12 fearsome. Even the void couldn't stop me. Do we have Kahiri kill? We got right negation protection. Twelve fearsome. I've got the ranks. Ooh, looking good. There we go, Kahiri kill. All right. That's our first time like playing multiple Kahiris and attacking and everything. And we got him in a prediction. That was the my best Kahiri game I've ever had. Zoe, Aphelios, Aurelian, Sword. This version's gotten kind of popular. With their Laurent protégés and everything. Let's keep it. 
I don't know if like War Mother's Call, like keeping the War Mother's Call is the card that's like, you know, pretty greedy. But, you know, they're they're a slow tar like they're a Targon deck, so the games are gonna last a little bit of time. No, why was Kahiri right here? No, it needs to be in there. Yes, there you go. Stay in there. Alright, let's get another researchers. Maybe I should take that trundle, but. Dubs researchers. Come on, get in there, get in there. Ugh, missed it. Ooh, exhaust isn't bad. Honestly, I should probably take the exhaust. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. We have to, like, kill, you know, Aphelios and Zoe and stuff. <laughs> How sad is it that even mildly different versions of Aphelios are still a breath of fresh air, even though they have, like, 60% of the same cards? I'm guessing they're going to play Laurent Protégé. I don't know. I guess they could play, like, Guiding Touch first. If they were going to lead with I just improvised on these structures you drafted. Focus using multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. Clever. Um, exhaust is for the champions, not for killing a protege. So they blocked they blocked the wrong thing. They could be at 16 instead of 15. If they would have blocked the middle one. They just could have healed an additional point. I don't know if being at 16 instead of 15 will really make a difference here, but just saying that that could have happened. Can you entomb a landmark? I'm back. It's so good to see you again. Yeah, My good to see friend, you too, Kiri. You weren't gone long, but I worried every second. Ah, uh, that's a little bit of a stretch. I don't know about every second. No more wasting time. So they play a spell. It does buff up this protege. So then it kills the researchers. If it's Yes, yeah, so they'll trick, and then if it's like Pill Cascade, the protege stays alive. Okay, cool, no spell. So while it looks, yeah, I was gonna say, while it looks like really good for us right after that attack, like wow, we're doing great. All they have to do is play Aphelios, so then the game the is kind of over. You might have thought that we were winning just a little bit ago, but no. Yeah, and Gravitome's gonna keep this Kahiri stunned. So keep them from creating another moon weapon. Because they've only played the one card so far. They want to play that moon weapon this turn. Still keeps them from creating the moon weapon because they didn't get to use that. Trindamir is the best card to take. The problem with taking Trindamir is that next turn, if I play Trindamir, then the following turn I will not be able to play War Mother's Call. So if I take Trundle and play Trundle, I can play War Mother's Call the next turn. Same with Babbling Bjerg as well, but Babbling Bjerg would have me draw like Kahiri or Trindamir, and I'd rather Kahiri and Trindamir be in my deck um, to, to War Mother's Call. Safe. 
I've learned what I can to help Ikathia. These are troll lands! Dragons are pretty good. At least gave me a, a small time of reprieve without getting all the moon weapons. But I think these Targon cards are just probably too good for any kind of meme tier deck. this call. You're gonna have to be pretty awesome for us. Pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. We do have the Prismatic War Mother's Call. I don't think that means it's gonna bring in Prismatics, but that'd be cool. It just looks really cool as a Prismatic. So it's like one of the choices in a chest, and I was like, ooh, I want that one. They, of course, remember, have tons of mana still. I don't think they even gained netted mana from the star shaping yet. Or, so sorry, from the Veil Temple yet. No, actually, I guess they did, because, yeah, they, they grew the Eclipse Dragon already. What will you have? Card seems pretty fair. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Safeguard our homes. Bow to your king. I don't know why I'm not attacking with the with my tavern keeper. Well, I should be. Be better. Could be better. Patrol is a mountain and covered in ice. Oh, you and your stories. Yeah, so they basically have three. I have to, you know, now with this thing, now I have to like quick sand this and quick sand this and quick sand this. Like I have to quick sand two of the three. And I can't do two of the three. I can only do one. So. I mean. Together, the pillar is more valuable than the two three. The two three doesn't do anything at all. The pillar, I know they can challenge it, but they can you know challenge everything. But the pillar does give their stuff vulnerable and also buffs up my trundle. So, like, assuming they would just pass, I would rather have the, the 01 pillar in play than the 2 3. That's not tamper 
Alright, Fior Shen. Um, quicksand, this is a good quicksand matchup, how it can get rid of barrier and everything like that. Trinomere is too slow. Chronomancer... I don't know. Chronomancer is good against River Shaper. Not so much against Fiora, though. Um, three Sisters could make, like, the Fury of the North, which could be good. No Fiora, play River Shaper. Play neither. Pass. By my oh. honor, you must die. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. Hmm. Strike quickly, strike down. Oh god. Light the signal fire. Hmm. So I need to find a quicksand, but I also don't want to play a 2 3. It was right on my tail. Nature blesses her followers. Not bad. I never hold back. Try me. Not bad. This is just kind of what happens whenever you play against tier 1 decks with, with meme tier Kahiri War Brothers Call decks. Right, like, this is just, like, last game, this game, like, their cards are great. Like, uh, I don't know. Their cards are great. They're, they're a tier 1 deck for a reason. I wish there was, like, ranked, normal, and then, like, meme tier. <laughs> you could... You could just try to pair up against like where where it's like you guarantee to never face a uh, like a rank deck <laughs> like a good tier one deck. You gotta believe me. Odd behavior. Yes, I know they can sharp sight the Fiora and block, but I mean, I can't, I, I can't sit back and do nothing forever, right? Like, we gotta, gotta put some kind of pressure on them. We swim within the flows of magic. Nothing escapes my watch. Who goes there? Yeah, a popper tier no, with no champions. There you go. Man, no champions. You can still just do all the Targon invoke stuff. And still just have all all the celestial cards. Yuck. You down. Try me. And then like other people's decks wouldn't be I guess you'd have like your you'd have like your no champ burn decks. That would face that. It would kind of be a bunch of that. No, it'd just be a bunch of no champ burn and then Targon invoke. It's possible none of those cards are barrier cards. It's not likely, but I guess it's possible. You know, they could have Bright Steel Protector or, or Golden Ages, and so, like, just doing this right now would keep those from being affected. I'm trying to have the six power thing attack basically because of Sharp Sight, but. Uh, I guess I should have had the 5 4 attack. A gift from the river folk. Water. Hmm. Can 
a long path to get you. That turns into three tough. Well, that really backfired. King of Trolls coming through. Wish I would have had the 5-4 challenge now. They don't have very many cards left. Follow my lead. Let them eat souls. Oh god. They don't have very many cards left. Ready the torches. Maybe this works. Their fewer is now at three. Hopefully it's just golden ages. Alright, sharp sight, that's the card. That was the card that uh, River Shaper just drew. I've come so far. It was golden ages though. That, yeah, that kills it. Close. Their cards are pretty good. Good job, Fiora. Alright. Kindred Nessus. Sending Kahiri back, but the rest looks pretty good. I could definitely send Trundle back as well. Um, yeah, we could send Trundle. I'll just keep Trundle. We could send it back. Because you always want to mulligan Kahiri because you want Kahiri in your deck for you to be able to see with the predict. Sisters. You to keep us safe. See what I've learned? I've learned not to attack. Focus using multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. All right, so we got an undying deck. So I want the spell mana available for next turn. I kind of like this cold resistance. I'm just going to skip them all. Who upset the tower guardian? All right, good stuff. We got looking like a good undying deck over there. Don't touch that. It's not safe. This is right, down to 10. It's pretty awesome. I'll knock him dead. Dissident. They don't want to take that four. From playing these games, it kind of feels like maybe we should just be playing regular Entomb. It would only cost five mana. Instead of spending six mana on Entombs. That's new. You're provoking it. I'm playing this so I can keep the six mana available for Entomb. Betrayal buried. Dang. Hope revived it. A vast land. Too much sand. Oh, 
All right, we're gonna take the War Mother's Call for the power it can provide. Man Piggy with that resub. Thank you so much. Well, we've got three months now. You are amazing. Thank you very much. That's our second sub of the day. All right, big Kahiri. Always forward. Excuse us. Bar the doors. So I died to atrocity by playing this, but obviously we're very far behind anyway. I can't sit here forever and try to just protect against atrocity. And I thought I was a troll. Expecting that. Flash freeze is the cheaper option. If they had atrocity, they would have just played atrocity and killed me, right? Think these things out of here for a couple of turns. Oh. Alright, well I guess flash freeze would have been better then. <laughs> Alright, should have just gone double flash freeze. You have bested so there, the, what I was thinking, you say it doesn't do anything else, I mean, but we've already seen them play a lot of, like the like the zero mana three two that sacrifices, the four mana four one that sacrifices, so like, like those kind of cards it keeps them from sacrificing their undying and like getting good value out of all those kind of cards. And so their hand has like more of those kind of cards. That's why I went with the Entomb. It's not like like the the extra little mana didn't help me that turn. But obviously I walked right into Riding Negation, so I can't say that my my play was good. All right, so there we go. That was War Mother's Kahiri lost to a couple of good Shadow Isles decks, a good a couple of good uh, tier one decks with Fiora and Aphelios. You know, it's still Kahiri, right? Like, it's it's uh, fun to play, but you, just kind of the, the theme of today. Our decks are, are cool and fun to play, but they are not as good as our opponent's decks. That's for sure. All right, so that's that's War Mother's Kahiri. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. We got to have one game where we got to do cool Kahiri stuff, so that was cool. Um, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.